Hello, welcome to Good News Washington Church. Before we listen to the word, we would like to share some news highlights from our church this week. To start, this week we held the Malachi Bible Seminar with Pastor David Kim in person at church from Tuesday to Friday for four nights. Through the words of Malachi, we were able to discover the love of God towards the Israelites. On the first day, Pastor preached how we can confirm the love of God through him sending Jesus to die on the cross and wash our sins away. The following days, Pastor spoke about the importance of establishing the authority of God, us returning to God, and how serving God is the privilege of those who have received salvation, and that we feel vain when we leave God. This time especially, people who we have been doing Bible study with attended the seminar and had the chance to listen to the gospel, as well as have fellowship. The words of Malachi truly touched the hearts of the audience who listened to the sermons. Last Sunday, Pastor Sanchez and his church members visited our church. They warmly welcomed us to their church last time, so this time we invited them to have lunch with us and have service together. After Pastor shared his testimony of how he preached the gospel in Ecuador, Pastor Sanchez expressed his thankfulness for this connection and time of fellowship. The two pastors officially established that we are sister churches and plan to continue having fellowship together. This week, we also visited the Manassas City Hall and met Mayor Michelle Davis Younger. Mayor Michelle is the first African-American mayor in Manassas. She showed interest in the works of IOF and showed us how to inform more people of what we are doing. She was also willing to record a message of gratitude for IYF. Next, we met Pastor Jean, a Haitian pastor who leads one of the largest Haitian churches in Maryland with 800 members. During the meeting, we told him how we were able to buy our chapel and the work of the gospel we are doing during the pandemic. He sincerely asked how the CLF will help his ministry and we will continue in fellowship with him. Now for the announcements. We have the winter camp this year in Dallas, Texas from December 26th to the 30th. The camp has programs for all ages and will be a wonderful time to connect and grow spiritually together. The CLF will be held during the winter camp, so please feel free to invite pastors. The Korean camp will also be held during the camp, so please feel free to invite youth who may be interested. Next Sunday, we have a Christmas event at church. There will be performances and gift exchanges, so please feel free to join us for a joyful and fun event. We have church service on Sundays at 10 a.m. and on Wednesdays and Fridays at 7.30 p.m. On Saturdays, students meet at 2 p.m. and the young adults meet at 7 p.m. Thank you for watching. Now we will start our Sunday service.